Hey guys, I am back with just a real quick video and this is for those of you who don't want to disable your daytime running lights but change the way they work. Now there's a lot of people out there telling you that you can go under the hood by the passenger side strut tower and there is a uh, resistor right there that if you unplug it or cut the cord and you can tie another light in line with it that the headlights will no longer come on but whatever light you tie in because it changes the resistance on it but it's still using the filament inside your light bulb to carry that current which means you're putting wear actually excessive wear on your headlight because it's not getting bright enough to illuminate so it's staying hot but not hot enough to to function and uh, and it definitely won't work with HIDs but I don't think that resistor is there on the HIDs so this is for those of us that are using the bi -xenon or halogen bulbs um, so what I found is the relay for it and that is located on the passenger side at least here in the United States uh, you have to pull your glove box out and you're gonna find two relays side by side one has a black plug one has a blue plug now that blue plug is to your high beams and the black plug is for your low beams and uh, daytime running lights so pulled out my digital multimeter and I probed the wires found which one is on having a full 12 volts actually 14 volts with the headlights off but it in gear now this only works with the car running if the car is not running the daytime running lights don't function uh, so when you start it up and you put it in gear you can even put it in neutral or uh, I'm not sure how it works on the manuals unfortunately I'm still I'm still working with an automatic uh, find that wire and when you, let me get you down here and I'll show you what I did so this is the passenger side uh, my glove box normally sits right here pulled that out you see these two connectors right here there is the black one and the blue one and it's the black one you want so if you come hopefully I get enough light up there um, so if you come up here there's a one nut that just holds those two in and take that out and I'm going to do that and uh, pull these out of here so you can see it better so right there on the black plug you can see I've already cut a wire in my case it's a yellow wire with a black stripe on it um, it is also the one you can see that it is the one that is in the center so you got five wires and it's a dead center I cut that wire and my daytime running lights stopped working now even though the daytime running lights stopped working the headlights as low beams and high beams still worked the way they normally would so I grabbed that wire and I just made myself a little test light that I could hook up to a ground and to that wire to see if that would affect my daytime running lights so let me uh, bring in here I'm gonna hook this up start the car and I'll show you how that worked so here you can see the lights just hanging right there um, so I'm gonna start the car you'll see it doesn't come on and then I'm gonna put it in neutral and it'll pop on if I turn my headlights on it'll go off so let me show you how that works you can see it's not working but the second I put it in gear you can see that blue light there came on now if I turn my headlights on you can see out there you can see my headlights came on that light goes off and also uh, doesn't but it doesn't affect my regular lights now if I pull the parking brake it goes off because it's hooked up that way and I put it back in park and it goes off so it will function without uh, interfering with the way the headlights work so what I need to do now is uh, take my little test light back off take the wire that I cut the one on the relay side I'm gonna put a barrel connector on it and run a wire out under the hood to what are gonna be my new daytime running lights and the other one I'm just gonna put a butt connector on it and that will seal that up so it doesn't make contact with anything there is no power running through it but I'm not going to chance that and this way I'm not messing with that resistor I'm not messing with the actual voltage going to the regular high beams it's just going to be the daytime running lights independent so I'm going to put a barrel connector on there get my other wire hooked up 
run it out under the hood, whatever grommet you decide to use, that's all up to you. So I didn't spend a lot of time under the hood. Um, in fact, I didn't record any of that. I just ran the wire up and I've got an LED strip that runs through here on both sides. Now, again, it was simple wiring, just running the wire through here, tying it to one, running it across, tying it to the other one. So I'm going to uh, try them out now and show you what they look like. And that's it, just that simple. Uh, so again, all the real hard part is done underneath the uh, glove box over there with that relay with the black plug. Uh, so thanks for watching. I've got another great video on the way for you, rebuilding an STI power steering rack. That should be coming pretty soon. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.